Hey y'all, welcome back to Coffee and Composition. If this is your first time joining us, I'm April Sojourner Truth Walker, president of A Little More Truth LLC. And this is our segment to take the woes out of your next writing assignment. So if you've been with us for a while, you know we've been talking about sentences this fall and we're gonna keep that going with our complex sentences this week. So again, we're building, building, building upon our sentence structures. We've done simple, we've done compound, and now we're going into complex. And if you're getting lost, just let us know. We're here to help. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to visit our website, a little more truthllc.com, so we can help you one-on-one -on -one through not just sentences, but paragraphs and everything else that comes with composition. And as always, we're going to grab our coffees. I love this mug. You don't even see my little pup, but she's off to the side. But grab our coffees and we're going to go ahead and jump in. So let's get to those complex sentences. You should be able to see my screen now. Let me just go to the view. Let's go to the slideshow. As always, technology is gonna give us some trouble, but we're gonna keep going. All right, complex sentences, already talked about. If you need more help from us, just go to our website. But let's talk about what a complex sentence is. It is a sentence that has one independent clause and at least one subordinate clause. Can I get a little refresher? Yes, you can. An independent clause is a thought that can stand on its own. And then subordinate clauses are thoughts that can't stand on their own. So if you remember from a few weeks back, I talked about a subordinate clause being akin to a sentence fragment and an independent clause is a complete sentence. So that's a little refresher for you. When do you use them? When do you wanna use a complex sentence? Well, they're great for when you wanna add emphasis to a single part of the sentence. So let's look at some examples. The first one, the Red Bud 5K, which usually takes place in April, is happening in September this year. Okay, so why is this a complex sentence? Where's our independent clause? Well, our independent clause is actually broken up by our dependent clause. It's sandwiched in between the independent clause. So the independent clause would be the red bud 5K is happening in September this year. You could take out the dependent clause, which usually takes place in April, and it would still be a complete sentence. But you wanna add emphasis to the red bud 5K and when it takes place in April, so you add that dependent clause in there. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Now for the next one. I went for a hike along the Courage Trail to clear my head. Again, we sandwiched it in here, the dependent clause between our independent clause with those two commas. So we have our correct um, punctuation, but we wanna emphasize where we went for the hike. So not just that I went for a hike, but I went for a hike along the courage trail. And then you have the rest of the independent clause to clear my head. And then finally, this winter, our one year anniversary, we're taking a trip to Martha's Vineyard. Again, we sandwiched it in between the independent clause we want to emphasize why we're going to Martha's Vineyard in the winter, because we usually do that in the summer when you can go to the beach, but it's our one year anniversary. So we want to emphasize that's why we're going in the winter. I hope that makes sense. Again, you want to use those complex sentences when you want to emphasize a part of the sentence that either comes before or after the um, dependent clause. So the key takeaway, a complex sentence made up of an independent and subordinate clause isn't a sentence that's hard to understand. So a complex sentence isn't convoluted. If you look back at the ones that we had in our examples, none of them were convoluted or complicated, or you were like scratching your head, like what did we just talk about in that sentence? That's not what makes it complex. The complex sentence is made complex by the structure of having an independent clause and a dependent clause in there. So again, I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, feel free to reach out to us with questions, but if you have questions about the simple sentences or the compound sentences before you get to the complex sentence, definitely look at those videos as well. And as always, if you need more from us, just go to our website, go to our contact me page at a little more truth llc.com. You can follow us on Instagram, you can subscribe to our newsletter, and we will see you next time.